Hey everyone, I'm really sorry that I have been MIA. Um, I have just been super busy. Of course, I'm working and you know running my life here. Um, and but I thought, okay, I have this weekend, and I wasn't doing much, so I thought it was about time that I had put up a new video. And um, yeah, so firstly, I hope everyone's doing really good. Um, and if you're not, that is okay because what I would love to talk about today is how we as INFPs deal with challenges, how we see challenges, how we get through them. Um, last night I was doing this, um, <clears throat> this, you know, one of those play buzz quizzes and, um, I was asking my now partner James, who you've seen on the previous video I asked him I came across this question and I was just talking about a, a key point of your personality and um, I said oh what one sounds mostly like me and there's a couple listed and then but then there was bravery and he's like you're brave and I'm thinking what really I'm brave I am brave <laughs> I really am brave. I mean, if you've been following the my little journey thing, um, which I'm, I'm going to stop with those because I just don't want them to drag on. And I mean, you you will get get it now that I'm where I need to be. But you know, thinking back to that challenge that I had, going from you know being in Tauranga and not having anywhere to live to here, you know, and the now with you know I got a job I have a, a place in renting I have a partner and I have Scarlett coming back to me every second weekend which will soon change to every two weeks um, and just just getting through that challenge of, of going from point A to point B like that you know that is that had been a huge test and it did test my bravery and you notice that um, a lot of the time I'll mention what Goku would do and how that got me through. And this, this is one of the things I would like to highlight about being INFP or NF in general. Um, is how we look at challenges and how we get through challenges. What, what we say to ourselves, what we think is we're going through certain certain things in our lives that you know they could get us depressed and you know we can be hammered to the ground but we always have this way of coming back up again and facing the challenge and um, so one of the one of the main things I'd like to point out is how we look at things very metaphorically and that is probably I have to say in my personal opinion the strongest attribute of an INFP to look at challenges metaphorically okay so as I was traveling up here um, and Mandra and I we were we were in the car traveling Chilling up the motorway, coming from Tarang at Auckland. So we we're, were chilling along the motorway, and this butterfly had flew past our window. And we kind of looked at each other, and, and we we were on the same wavelength at the time. I I remember, and um, you know it was pretty odd for a monarch butterfly to be, you know, flying around in the motorway. But, you know, we both looked at each other and thought, new beginnings. You know, butterflies represent transformation, represent new beginnings, you know. And, um, you know, seeing, seeing this butterfly and, like, because at this time, you know, this is when I had nothing at all and I was scared. I didn't know what was going to come. But thinking back to this butterfly that, that I had seen on this motorway, you know, reminded me of 
you know, that I needed to be in the position that I was in because I was going to transform like a butterfly because of that. And I did. I blossomed. <laughs> um, and I remember I must have been like a month after I started working for this landscaping company and um, I remember everything was just going so right and it, it's like this universe had rolled out this red carpet and you know traveling on the way back home you know we'd be in the car and we'd be listening to music and you know um you know i'd say like can this get any better like come on i'm sure there'll be a challenge that the universe is going to throw at me at some point <laughs> i mean and then now i wonder why you know why did i say that <laughs> because of course of course the universe is throwing challenges at me again which is all part of life and you know um i think most people you know they see challenges come up in their life because that's just part of life but as an infp when i see challenges coming up i always see it as means to better myself i always see it as a test of my strength and once I learn the particular lessons, I'll come out of it stronger. And I don't know why I've always been that way, but I have. I've, I've just always, always seen challenges like that. Challenge isn't there to rip you down and destroy you. Challenge is there to lift you up. A challenge is there to heal you. It's, it's a blessing in disguise, you know, at the time it may seem like a futile thing and something difficult but when you always see things in hindsight they make sense and I have been throwing challenges lately and there has been times where I've just kind of been like oh if if yes like I can't be bothered <laughs> but then I know you know I know that you know, I was given a clean slate to come up here and to recreate myself. And I did that. And now, now that I'm here, of course, life is just going to keep rolling up things. Just because that's what life does. And, um, yeah, so I have taken, like, you know, sometimes I've just, the human part of me is like, ugh. But then I think about it in the end. You know, I, I internalize it all and think, get my little INF penis out. And sorry, that sounded really bad. INF penis. <laughs> INF penis. Sorry, I'm really immature. Um, oh, I've lost track of what I was saying now. But anyway, yeah, I get, I get my little internal dragon to come out and and think about this challenge and about why it's been brought to the surface what i need to do to overcome it and how i think i will be after the challenge has been completed once i conquer it and that is what keeps me moving <coughs> excuse me i've had this really bad flu and it's ruthless it's been ruthless i've had there you go a challenge last week i had i think i only worked 21 hours or something um, just because I've had this ruthless flu, I was um, staining um, these steps on Friday, and uh, I was just, I felt this intense pressure in my jaw, and uh, I felt like I was about to pass out, and I said to one of my co-workers, like, can we call it, like, call Smoko, because I feel like I'm going to pass out, and he looks at me, and he's like, shit, he's like, go sit in the van, and he said, you know, you, you don't look very well at all. You look really great. And I'm just thinking, oh, God, I've already taken, you know, a couple of days off. Like, like, you know, I need the money. And, you know, but of course, you know, this happens. This happens and then, yeah. Anyway, that was going off on a little tangent there. But I wanted to briefly cover... Um, um, in movies, when, when 
like if you look at an INFP hero, they are always um, people that deal with things internally. Like they become heroes because they have some kind of burden that that is internal that they conquer. I noticed that with INFP heroes in movies. For example, Frodo Baggins. I don't think anyone else could have been able to um, carry this ring because I think it just would have corrupted ev everyone else that wasn't like Frodo but because I know you can't probably type people like characters in movies but um, I mean of course Frodo is said to be INFP and I think the reason why he was able to um, carry this burden is because of his internal strength because he knew himself so well and I mean INFPs you know we have this internal strength that just we don't know how strong we are and we're too hard on ourselves we can't see it but we are and you'd be surprised if you took a look at yourself really took a look at yourself and just just thought really neutrally about yourself you will find that you are one strong motherfucker. <laughs> you really are. And it's the same with um, Frodo. He carried this ring and this, you know, this power tried to corrupt him. And he's doing a damn good job. But he got through it. And he got through it because internally he was solid. <laughs> and he fought battles with himself. Because he was, he didn't know his own strength, but it was there. Same with Luke Skywalker. He was um, dealing with the good and the evil, you know. And it was about overcoming the, the evil and um, embracing the good and finding the good. And I think that is every INFP's thing. We want to take over this evil, to rid of this evil. And to have this goodness and to feed the goodness. But we have to deal with both of them, you know. And, um, you know, I think in the end this is why James thought, you know, he wanted me to choose the bravery. And I am more brave than what I give myself credit for. And you are, or all of you are more brave than what you give yourself credit for yeah <laughs> so I shall get going but I hope you enjoyed my little talk and I am so sorry that I haven't been able to I haven't been able to upload videos but today I had the chance so there it is alrighty we'll see you all next time bye